Okay, kids, here's the instructions for making that three-dimensional alligator that we started last week. Um, so if you'd like to finish this on your own, you can just follow these instructions. <clears throat> so you're going to start with um, a piece of green paper, construction paper, and you can see I have mine uh, landscape in orientation, not portrait, not tall ways, but wide. And then we are going to fold it across going wide. I'll show you. So you'll, you have it wide and you're going to fold it down. And as you can see, I have a, a very long, thin rectangle. Okay, and here's where we're going to use our ruler and draw a diagonal line. Maybe I'll turn it this way so it's all in the camera. Um, a diag diagonal line from one corner to the other. And you can use whatever you'd like to mark this. You can use a marker or a pencil. I'm going to use a marker so that it shows up better on the camera. And it's okay if it's not exact from corner to corner. There we go. Okay, the next step is to cut it along that diagonal line. And again, if it's not perfect, it, it's no big deal. Okay, so you're going to have two uh, individual triangles. Just set those aside because we'll use those later on for another part of the alligator or the crocodile. So now we're left with this long skinny triangle with the fold. Okay, so the next step is to you're going to fold in, kind of like we would make a paper airplane. So we're going to fold in one side, this very long side, to meet up with the center fold we already have. Increase it with our fingers. And we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to bring that long edge to meet the center fold line there. And my paper is pretty stiff, so that's what makes it a little bit tricky. If your construction paper isn't as thick, it might make it a little bit easier. So we're just gonna try to fold that. Let's see, I might need to open this up to make sure that I have it exactly on that center line. There we go, that's pretty good. And again, if it's not exact, that's okay. You can see uh, we have some long ends here. And if you want to, we can go ahead and cut those off. I think when we were doing this lesson last week. I said you didn't need to cut them off, but um, you can go ahead and do that if you like. So we have a nice flat end. Okay, and we're gonna open it back up. So you see we have that original center fold that we did um, earlier, and then we have the two other folds. So I'm gonna fold it back in half along that center fold line. Okay, and let's see. Actually, I'm gonna open it all the way up. So we are gonna decorate uh, with some texture or some uh, different shapes along those two center spots. And you can use green, gray, brown, um, black. I think um, Last week I used some brown and I just drew some kind of geometric shapes. You can draw circles, you can draw scaly shapes. Uh, I will leave that up to you. I'm going to make some, just some scale looking shapes. And I wouldn't worry about it being too pretty or too perfect because where we are coloring right now, we're gonna be cutting across it um, so that our alligator will be three-dimensional and kind of uh, bendy. Okay, so that's pretty good. Like I said, it doesn't have to be beautiful or precise. Okay, now we're gonna fold it in half down that center line again. And here's where you're gonna need your scissors. We are gonna cut from the folded line from the folded edge, I should say, right here, from that edge over to the other folded edge, but not to the open end. So 
we're only going to cut from here to here all the way along so you can see I'm going to cut just to that edge I'm sorry that fold and stop and I'm cutting maybe about half an inch half inch pieces And again, these don't have to be perfect or precise. And as I get down to this really narrow tip, I'm going to be careful. I don't want to cut all the way across to that cut edge. I think I may stop right about there and do my last cut. Because if I go any further, I might end up just chopping it off, which I don't want to do. So you can see... We have all of these cuts. Okay. All right, the next step is going to be, we're gonna open it back up. And now I'm going to fold it, uh, flip it over. So you can see we have that center section which has all the cuts, and then we have these two outside flaps. I'm gonna fold one of these over, and I'm gonna get my glue stick or uh, Elmer's glue, whatever you're using. And I'm going to glue along one of those flaps. I'm gonna do a pretty good job to uh, cover that flap entirely. Okay, now I'm gonna take the flap on the other side and fold it over on top of where that glue was. And you might need to put your fingers underneath it to make sure that those flaps overlap. Now you can see what happens. Now we, we're starting to see the three-dimensional um, characteristics of this alligator tail or alligator body. Okay, so here's the side that we just glued, and you might need to hold it. You might need to kind of pinch it inside. See, I put my fingers inside to kind of pinch it to make sure that that sticks and dries before we go on to the next step. I'm just kind of holding that maybe about five or ten seconds in a few different spots all along. Okay, and I'm going to flip that over and just set it aside for now. So now I'm going to work on the head and the legs. So you can use a pencil for this part if you'd like, or you can just go ahead with your markers. I'm going to use my marker again so that you all can see it. Um, so we're going to draw the head and then two front legs and two back legs. So we're going to use these extra scraps of paper that we'd cut off from the original. And let's see. I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to try to imagine how big I want that head to be. Okay, so alligator heads and crocodile heads have slightly different shapes, if you remember from our reading. Um, I think it said, I'm going to look back to our text. Oh, yes. So it says that alligators have a rounder U-shaped snout and crocodiles have narrow pointed snouts. So depending on if you're making an alligator or crocodile, um, that will help you decide what shape to make that snout. So I think I'm going to go with an alligator. So a rounded U-shaped snout. So I'm going to kind of draw my alligator head going this direction. So I'm going to kind of come out and give them a nice U-shaped snout. Okay, now watch. I didn't close the end of his head. I'm going to make a tab. So the tab, this area right here, that where I put the X, that's where we are going to have, uh, we're going to put glue there and that's what will attach it to the body. Okay, so there's my head. And if you want to draw the shape of his eyes, so the eyes would kind of go, let's see, I'm going to look back. 
how this is a sideways view, but if you're looking at it from the top, he might have some ridges here for his eye, and then his eye would kind of be looking to the side like this. So alligators do kind of have uh, eyes on the sides of their heads and that helps them to see better. And a couple of nostrils on the end. We could even draw some contours for the nose. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So that's gonna be my alligator head. I'm gonna cut that out. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just did just kind of a rough drawing and that will be fine for what we need. take my other green triangle and I'm going to trace that this I'm going to trace that uh, shape of the out top of the alligator head this will make the bottom of my alligator head so I'll trace the tab as well trace the outline and there we go okay so that's going to be the bottom of his head and cut that off So this will give us a three-dimensional head, uh, kind of jaws that will open up. All right, so you can see I have my two pieces of alligator head and those will kind of, oops, my bottom one is a little bit bigger than my top one, but. I think that's okay because the top one will kind of bend up so we get that um, opening effect. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these together just on that tab. So I'm going to glue the uh, tab from the bottom part of the head to the top. Okay, and do you see where my X is? I'm going to put glue there and I will attach that under <clears throat> underneath the alligator's body here. So that's his head. You can see if you bend bend it up, you can see that he has kind of an open mouth now. All right, so the next step will be to make the alligator front legs and back legs. And I think I'll use the scrap paper and kind of turn it sideways because the legs will, they'll kind of stick out on either side of the body. Now I'm going to use the widest parts of these papers to make the legs because I'll need them to kind of stick out on either side. Let's see. So again, we need a tab that's part of the leg that will glue underneath the body. And then I'll kind of have it come out and bend and I'll give them some claws. Okay, so this will be the tab, and I can do, if you want them to be symmetrical, you can cut this one out and trace it, or you can just kind of eyeball it. I think I'm just going to eyeball it. That means I'm going to draw it freehand, which is totally fine. So this one, um, let's see, I'll have this be the back leg, actually, because that'll be a little bit shorter than the front leg. Or if you want the other way, if you want the front leg shorter than the back leg, you can do that too. So that'll be, these will go on the left side of the alligator. I'll spread those out and these will be on the right side of the alligator. So I'm going to draw a tab so I have something to glue. There we go, there's one. And here's the other one. There's some claws. Okay, not the most beautiful alligator legs, but I think it'll get the point across. So now I'm going to cut these out. Okay, there's one. 
we'll go on that side. Here's the other one. So once I have all four of these cut out, then I'll glue them all on. Okay, last one. Here's the last right leg. So after you're done cutting this out, you'll grab your glue stick and you will put glue on the tabs and attach that to the bottom of the alligator's body. And then your alligator will be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue stick again. I'm gonna glue oops, just on the tab. My hands are sticky. That tab. This tab. And this tab. Okay, and then I will attach those to the bottom of his body. And you can spread them out however far you like. Maybe I'll put his back leg about here. So that kind of, the way you space the legs will kind of give you a clue as to how big his body is. So where his body kind of starts and his uh, body ends and then where his tail begins. There we go. All right, so here's our finished alligator. And you can see because we gave him those cuts all along his body, we can move him. And we gave him a three-dimensional head. If you wanted to, you could go back in and draw some teeth or you can use a different color paper, maybe white or yellow paper to give him some teeth in his mouth. Um, but that's our alligator. So I hope you take time to finish up the alligator we started in class and show me uh, how you did. See you next time.